based on this amazing book called Counting Creatures, I am going to show you how to create a really pretty leaf print. And my inspiration is part um, of the book. It's this right here. Can you see that? It starts with going for a walk. Take your kids outdoors and explore all sorts of different foliage. And just take a little tiny sampling of your favorite leaves and save them. I'm back in my studio and look at all of my treasures. Now comes the hard part. You have to select the type of textures that you would like to use in prints. So what you're looking for are really interesting shapes. So imagine that this was flat and you're putting paint on top of it. The part that doesn't get paint is the part that we're gonna look at. That's the negative space. Look at the shape of this leaf. See how the contour line of this leaf is really quite interesting? And look at all of the different veins. Those are gonna come through as well. A little tip, you wanna do this project when the leaves are still nice and green and fresh. Once they become crunchy, then it's really hard to apply paint because it starts to crackle. I'm using two sheets of paper, one to print on and one to press. So pick your favorite leaf first and go ahead and put it the most textured side of the leaf up. So that's the vein side. Take a really fat brush and I have mine filled with yellow and orange paint and I'm just gonna brush the orange paint over my leaf. You're gonna paint right on your leaf. Make sure it's coated really well. Now put your paintbrush back and take your leaf. I want you to lay it down and don't move it. Take your blank sheet of paper, press it down and just press it with your hands without moving the leaf. That's the hard part. If it moves a little bit, don't worry about it. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. You just created that. Okay, let's do some more. I take my paper and this time I'm gonna do black and I'm gonna take this leaf here. I already got a blob of my artwork, that's okay. Now lift it up and this time I'm gonna put it next to the blob and lay it down. Just commit to it then and then you want to press it down. Your hands are going to get a little messy because I have some yellow paint. That's okay. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? Let's try it. Ooh, <laughs> that one looked really pretty. I think I'm going to try this one again. So go ahead and use all your leaves and keep on painting. I have these colors in my palette and you can use the same. I'm just using a liquid tempera paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and do more, and then I want you to do more too. I'm all finished of my leaf prints. Now I get to decorate the middle. So you get to do whatever you want here. I'm taking a little kitchen sponge, and I put a little bit of gold metallic paint right here. And I'm gonna take my kitchen sponge and dab, dab, dab. And I'm just gonna see what this looks like. If I dab around my leaves. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. And what I want you to do is just go around all your leaves without touching your leaves. So that can be a challenge. Use the edges of your and the corners of the sponge to really get in there and create a really cool texture. 